according to Tim Pool and guess you U.S. Latinos, practically 62 million of you guys are godless. You have no rituals. You have no rites of passages. You have no sagradas. Nothing is sacred anymore because we are godless. Polly, Polly, what are you talking about? Well, my friends, what you're going to do is get some chickens. Get some chickens because there's going to be a civil war. Mis amigos mexicanos, mis amigos latinos, what you got to do is get some gallos because I un, I una guerra coming. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I just had to have a little fun. I love impersonations. What is happening? I hear that Tim Pool is getting a lot of heat for various reasons. And actually, we're not here to talk about those reasons. In a discussion recently, where they were, where the guests in the panel were talking about puberty blockers and these controversial issues of uh, trans kids and, and all those, uh, all, everything that's with it. Talked about, and this is very funny, rites of passage that Americans have lost because we are godless. And then they bring up quinceañeras. So let, let me just, let me just lay the land for, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, what we're talking about here. What is a quinceañera? Okay. And first of all, there's about 62 million U.S. Latinos here. Uh, and let us, let me, let me give you a little definition of quinceañera, but then we'll play the video and then we're going to react to the video. Uh, a quinceañera or quince años or quince años or quince is a celebration of a girl's 15th birthday, marking her passage from girlhood to womanhood. The term is also used for the celebrant herself. The quinceanera is both a religious and a social event that emphasizes the importance of family. Religion, social, family. It is celebrated in Mexico, Latin America, and the Caribbean, as well as Latino communities in the United States and elsewhere. Celebrated in the Latino communities in the United States, 62 million of them. Well, Paul... All of them can be doing this. Wait. The celebration begins with a mass attended by the girl and her friends and godparents. Mass is followed by a reception to a party, which friends and relatives are invited. And then there's food. And then there's all the, uh, you know, kind of like the presentation of the, of the court and all that stuff. All right. Great. So, and I, I listen, I'm going to have everything that I talk about. I will have links in the video description. I am a godfather to my young, very young cousin at the time. Uh, I was 18 when she was born, and I was made godfather. And since then, we've had a, 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 a relationship that obviously has, has stayed connected to each other. I've watched her as, as, as she's grown and has a family of her own. It's just great to see. Love her to death. I presented her at her quinceanera. They, man, they, her parents went all out. They had the chariot riding her and her court down the streets. It was crazy. And it was a very proud moment that I will never forget. And my sister also had one as well that I had attended. And you got to go through all this stuff here at the Catholic Church and, you know, uh, you know, take classes and all that stuff to make sure that you're that you're legit. Anyways, I say this because. This is, among many other things, very celebrated in Latino communities. And it's very much connected to churches, mainly the Catholic Church. All right. Now, let me go to a, uh, an article in Forbes. And this is really quick. Uh, and this is from 2019. OK, 2019. We talked about the population of uh, Latinos in America. OK, this 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 is this is crazy. Check this out, guys. <laughs> As far as the business, right? In the U.S., there are over 400,000 quinceañeras every year. Globally, quinceañeras are a $49 billion industry. And combined with other traditional celebrations, weddings, baptisms, tres años, and others, it creates a $400 billion market. Now, knowing all that stuff, I also have uh, some, uh, some great stats on American religion and its landscapes. As far as Latinos and religion, I will also have 
in the video box description. I wanted to lay the land. I wanted to lay the land because this panel is incredibly tone deaf and it speaks to Tim Pool's, you know, uh, just tone deaf on Americans that uh, that maybe he's not connected with. You know, get off the farm, homie. Get out there and uh, kind of visit some other communities. So here we go. Uh, this person here is, I believe, a, a, a writer for Post Millennial. And there's also Ian Cross and Tim Pool. So let, let's just, I backed it up a little bit. Like I, like I said at the beginning of the video, they're talking about puberty blockers, the whole thing as far as, you know, uh, trans kids, very, very controversial stuff. We're, we're, we'll, uh, that's not what this point of this video is. I want you now with that information I gave you to just recognize or just check it out as far as what I feel is just a gross, gross, uh, you know, example of just being tone deaf to uh, 62 fellow Americans. Okay, let's play some, let's play some of this. Puberty, right? So Jeff, you brought this up. We were talking about puberty. What is puberty? Puberty is the process by which it's, you know, development. It's the process by which a child becomes an adult. It's a coming of age process. Coming of age process. Talking about puberty, coming of age process. Okay. This is where it starts. Right. We've taken away so many of the coming of age rituals. We've killed our gods. So, you know, we don't have coming of age rituals in our religion anymore at this. We don't. I don't know what or if you go to church, uh, you know, all churches have coming of age rituals. None of the churches have killed their gods. Now, if you're talking about public school systems. The government, that's a different story. But I think it's a gross error for you to uh, make that blanket statement, especially with the information that I gave you guys earlier in regards to the U.S. Latinos, that three and four are religious, Catholic, Protestant. And yes, even millennials, even millennials, even the younger ones, it's less, but they're still identifying as a certain religion point in the United States. That's That's not common. We don't have a lot of confirmations anymore about mitzvahs or anything like this. We don't have a lot of confirmations about mitzvahs. Again, I'm going to put the link in the chat. She's wrong. She is very, very wrong. And you, you know, whether you're on the far left or the middle or the right, you know, you, you, you take, you take what you see and maybe you don't, you don't, you don't, uh, really, uh, dive into any of the stats or do any of the extra legwork maybe because oh well they're not american they speak spanish i don't know what uh but you're 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 creating your own um uh what's the word not theory but you 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 uh create your own uh, rhetoric i guess and it's false it's just false and so let's continue so what we have for our coming of our main coming of age ritual in our country right mm. now is coming out you can come out as something. That's like the only, the only it's American. The, it's, it's it's the American it coming of age, right? It's it's and our rite of passage. It's the only American coming of age rite of passage now. It's coming out. Like when we, they're talking about coming out, uh, you know, as far as what your sex is, what your identity is. These guys are just way too knee deep in culture war headlines. It is not the reality. Uh, of day-to-day Americans. That's right. You and, come and out as part of your right of passage. I thought it was getting your driver's license. No, it used to be getting your driver's license, but now that's, that's 16. It's no, 18 no, 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 but, in some but like places. They have like, but, isn't like quinceanera a thing? Yeah. Like, Quince- isn't like quinceanera a thing? He brings it up, right? So Tim knows something about quinceaneras. I don't know how much, right? And uh, But it, it, there's no one there, judging from the next statement, there is no one there to throw any facts about what I just, you know, just the facts that I threw down just right now. Nobody here. Watch. Quinceanera, that's, yeah, that's like a... In Mexico, right? Yeah, in Mexico. That... <laughs> in Mexico, right? Yeah, in Mexico. Yeah, that doesn't count because it's in Mexico. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing, right? It's a thing. It's it's, it's the American it coming of age, right? It's it's in, our rite of passage, right? In, you come in, out as part of your rite of passage. I thought it was getting your driver's license. No, it used to be getting your driver's license, but now that's, that's 16, it's no, 18 no, 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 but, in some but like places. They have like, but... 
Isn't like quinceanera a thing? Yeah. Like, quinceanera, yeah. that's, yeah, that's like a. In Mexico, right? Yeah, in Mexico, that kind of thing. I know that. Is there a male version of that? I don't know what they did on there. Well, you know, you do like a 16th birthday party, but um, it's not the same kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, this is our main rite of passage. It, used it is the same kind of thing. In fact, it is the super main sort of thing because, like I said earlier, the definition of a quinceanera is what? Religion, society. Family, what are you talking about, lady? What are you talking about, Tim? Tim, Timmy, 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 change your beanie, brother, because uh, you're not getting it. Neither is this lady. Used to be, I remember when I was a kid, and the whole thing like everybody wanted to lose their virginity as quickly as possible. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> so, the rite of passage back in the day was losing your virginity. I'm not saying that that's not it, but you were saying earlier that we had killed our gods. So now we're a godless. Well, it sounds like you were kind of like, you know, you know, uh, you know, a little sneaky, sneaky back in the day. What what is going on here? Just like but that's thing. very different from but like a bot different. or bar mitzvah. Right. Yeah, it's very different. But now you can you can go through a rite of passage of coming out. And what are the things you get to do? You get to change your name. Mm -hmm. You get to start choosing your own clothes. You get to. OK, listen, guys, I'm not saying that this is not happening in uh, in circles of our society okay but i was just kind of taken aback by this when i was listening to the whole uh, uh podcast the other day and just how how disconnected even even the even the people that we see is like you know doing different doing different type of media and and covering the news uh showing different uh, uh opinions which i think tim does when Tim is when Tim is on point, he's got great guests and there's great conversation. Uh, but it just it just shows it just shows me the incredible tone death of fellow Americans, 62 million. And then, like I told you, with those numbers, as far as like what a money making thing, because now it's not just Latinos that do quinceañeras, guys, um, and how it is connected to uh, your 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 faith. And yes, there are black Catholics, white Catholics, all, I mean, millions. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed and yet not surprised because it's like, oh, they do that in Mexico. It's not the same. It's not our American thing. And newsflash, quinceañeras are very American. Okay, get with it, guys. Uh, that is it. Wherever you're at, keep that slant fuerte, but also to let me know what you think. Paz.